Is it a pet dog or a lamb? The Bedlington Terrier captures your attention with its distinct lamb-like appearance and keeps it with its entertaining, opinionated character. Do not let his look fool you, however. The Bedlington is all terrier, analytical, smart, alert, and aggressive towards little animals outdoors. Bedlingtons throw themselves with interest into the activities of their family. They like to be the center of attention and will play the clown to get it. Bedlingtons welcome guests and amuse them with their antics. However, they will let you know if they believe somebody's dubious. Bedlington individuals say their dogs have astute judgment and make excellent watchdogs. In today's video, we are going to define some intriguing realities about the Bedlington Terrier to see simply how distinct this breed is. Development The Bedlington Terrier was developed in the north of England, however, where he originated from is anybody's guess. One theory has it that he traveled with Rom, or gypsies, who used him to poach game on the estates they passed by. His skills in ridding the land of rats, badgers, and other vermin drew the attention of regional squires, who obtained a few of the pets on their own. Among their worthy fans was Lord Rothbury, whose estate was located in Bellington in the county of Northumberland. For a time, they were called Rothbury Terriers, but eventually the name Bedlington stuck. The first dog to, in fact, be called a Bedlington Terrier in 1825 was Ainsley's Piper, owned by Joseph Ainsley of Bedlington. Piper went up against his very first badger when he was only 8 months old, and he was still showing other canines how it was done when he was old, toothless, and almost blind. Of all the terriers, the Bedlington has the earliest non-broken pedigree, returning to 1782. Going back even further, the types that were initially used to develop the Bedlington provide great debate today. Amongst them are the Utterhound for endurance, the Poodle for coat, the Whippet for speed, and perhaps even a Bull Terrier for that signature feistiness. Bedlington Terriers love to dig. Bedlington Terriers have two bad habits, excessive barking and digging. They are terriers after all, so they like to dig to eliminate victim. In Earth Dog Trials, being able to dig well is an advantage. Otherwise, it can be annoying. How to curb the digging habit? As discussed previously, sufficient exercise is key. An exhausted pet dog cannot dig. You can also bury citrus peels, chicken wire, or large rocks in your backyard to dissuade your terrier from digging. Do not wish to deter digging completely? Provide your pet dog a digging or a sandbox location where he can dig without escaping or triggering too much problem. Special Head Among the most defining physical traits of the Bedlington is the wedge shape of their heads which is a lot covered in practically white-colored hair and their silky top knot. They boast longish, tapering jaws with tight lips and well-defined large nostrils that all includes and enhances their general lamb-like appearances. They boast really intense, however, little alert eyes which are a charming triangular shape. Dogs with blue coats have darker eyes whereas pet dogs with blue and tan coats usually have lighter colored eyes, namely amber or light hazel. Their ears are cool and moderate in size, being filbert formed and set quite low with a flap that hangs nicely and flat to a dog's cheek. Ears are velvety to the touch and covered in fine, brief hair with tips having a little fringe of smooth hair on them. Bedlington Terriers are tenacious hunters. Bedlington Terriers were initially bred to hunt. In particular, the poachers and gypsies utilized them to hunt on the lands owned by gentry given that they were little sufficient to sneak past fences and escape attention. They were also utilized in the mines where they hunted rats. Today, Bedlington Terriers stay excellent hunters, real to the whippet blood they have in their veins. They can run quick and are particularly ruthless when searching rats, mice, foxes, badgers, and even birds and pests. Do not be shocked when you find among these on your doorstep. Rather, praise your pet and be glad you do not need to call pest control, unless it's the neighbor's cat you found. Then you should start developing a much better fence. Bedlington Terriers do not shed and are hypoallergenic. Bedlington Terriers are understood for their lovely coats, and the best part about these coats? 
they hardly shed, and they are considered hypoallergenic, which makes Bedlingtons much more perfect indoor buddies. The drawback? The fur of Bedlington Terriers grows fast and needs to be cut frequently. If not, the fur will wind up looking a mess and feel wiry. Nobody wants to snuggle with a pet like that. Monthly journeys to the groomer are required to keep the fur crisp and brief to the touch. If you desire your Bedlington Terrier to be groomed to breed standards, which consists of a top knot and not more than one inch of a coat, you'll have to pay more. Coat The Bedlington Terrier is practically shed-proof, and the coat is extremely dark at birth and becomes much lighter with maturity. That spot grows back black if the pet sustains an injury that damages his coat. Gypsies had Bedlingtons in the 1700s. It's been said that Bedlingtons accompanied nomadic, Romani-speaking groups in the Rothbury Forest in England in the 18th century. Bedlington Terriers are simple to house train. Yes, Bedlington Terriers like to play in the yard, however, they can likewise be trained to be great home pets. In fact, they are relatively simple to house train as compared to training them to follow other commands, manage their temper, or break bad habits. How do you housebreak them? You have to make your terriers respect. Remember, Bedlington Terriers do not like to be controlled, so if that is what you attempt to do, your terrier will only react with stubbornness and hostility. If you do not like that, be firm, however, not extreme. If you have your terrier's respect, he's more likely to listen to you. Next, establish a routine. Keep in mind how Bedlington Terriers need workout, Try to get your terrier to use the bathroom during strolls outside, which you can set up every day. When in the house, limit your pet to only a part of the house until he has actually been house trained and provide him access to the toilet so that he can utilize it when he requires to. With persistence, consistency, and the right attitude, your Bedlington Terrier will end up being housebroken soon. Independent Character Bedlington Terriers must be taught at an early age that they are not the rulers of the world. The strength that makes them match to killing vermin can frustrate you when attempted to teach them anything. Lots of Terriers are persistent and dominant. They wish to be the one in charge and will make you show that you can make them do things. Bedlington Terriers might struggle with copper toxicosis. The most typical health problem Bedlington Terriers have is copper toxicosis. What this means is that instead of copper being metabolized, it gets saved inside the liver, and when there is too much, the liver stops working which in turn gradually causes the death of the pet dog. This disease occurs in about 5% of Bedlington Terriers and might be acquired. Bedlington Terriers can likewise have eye issues such as cataract and retinal dysplasia, as well as kidney and thyroid issues. These aside, the Bedlington Terrier is a healthy breed and can live quite long, up to 18 years older, which is longer than the lifespan of other dogs in size. Now you know some of the facts that make the Bedlington Terrier so interesting. If you are considering this breed, don't forget to check your local shelter and considering rescuing your new furry family member. Check out this playlist for more details on popular pet breeds. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notices so you do not miss more videos about our preferred animal pooches and far more. See you in the next video!